First of all, is my price high enough? The title of the slide, specifically, does my price cover all my costs and generate a reasonable profit, whatever reasonable means to you? Okay? Break-even formula. Does the price cover all of my costs? That's the first step. There's an example that I use in one of the books where I say, let's say you're, going to a con you're considering going to con a convention. I'm going to try to write a little neater today and slower. And you're going to have a booth at a convention. And the booth's going to cost you $2,000. And that's a fixed cost that's not going to change. You got to write a check for $2,000. The reason you're going to the convention is to sell a piece of software. So you're going, to have a, you're going to have a desk, a booth, with the software on the desk. And let's say the software costs $30 a unit. Now, a big thing in accounting that I preach is label numbers. Label numbers. Here's what I mean. That is dollars, not units. Okay? Later on, I'm going to do something with the number of units you sell. That number is a dollar, is dollars. It has a dollar sign by it. That may seem, well, why does that matter? When you start doing a formula that has both numbers, dollar amounts, and then units of product, you've got to label the numbers or you're going to get confused. That is a variable cost. Meaning that if you don't sell any of the software units, what do you think you're going to do? You're going to pack them up and take them home. Okay? So if you sell zero units, you just pack them up, take them home, they're inventory, and you're going to sell them to somebody else later. This is fixed. We also call it in accounting a sunk cost, S-U-N-K. 